Hey guys, it's Junior. Welcome back to my channel here at Horsepower Warehouse. I have an absolutely incredible lineup of cars to show you guys this time. And we're gonna end it with some shop progress, updates, and so on and so forth, as is traditional. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I promise you guys, strap in, because this is, this is a really good one. So we are going to scoot right past this Mercedes SL 550 white aero edition which i've never even seen before super cool car but we just don't have the time today because we need to jump right into one of my dream cars porsche gt3 rs ysec package this car is not for sale i just want to show you guys how enthusiastic i am and, and what one of my dream cars is i have it here sitting in front of me i am so excited carbon fiber hood with the painted on badge for lightweight i mean carbon roof going into the carbon spoiler. Just, man, what an absolutely incredible car. You can see this one has titanium exhaust. I did peek up underneath and it has cats on it. I would delete those. If this were my car, I would immediately go with the full obnoxious titanium exhaust right off the bat. Um, this is not a car that is of any compromise. So I don't think and you're fooling anyone with this one. Just incredible carbon mirror caps, center lock wheels. This one does have the iron discs, so you're not burning through $20,000 carbon ceramics when you're at the track. So I understand why they outfitted it the way they did. As I said, this is the YSEC package, so it does have the really cool inlays in the seat. So awesome to have this car here in the showroom. It's not mine. I really, really wish it was. Man, all the carbon, just incredible. I love it. I really do. But we have a lot of uh, really cool cars in the lineup today, so let's move right into this. This is an, a Maserati MC20. I want to say this is a 2022. Check out, and the reason I did this Porsche first is so it can illuminate the paint in the back. You can see this is a satin pearl with, or satin pearl white, but it has blue pearl and then a gold pearl in it, which I can only call iridium, kind of like the Oakley sunglasses back in the day. When I was uh, in my teens, I used to love Oakleys and um, this thing just nails it. When you wash the car, it actually looks like an oil slick. Just super, super impressive. So let us, Unlock it. Right off the bat, when I get in, so I'm six foot two, this wants to spear me right in the forehead. So admittedly, my ingress procedure of butterfly door cars is probably not as polished as it could be because this car is so far out of my personal price range that, you know, again, I'm just, I'm thankful to be able to to touch it. Um, with that being said, I'm so picky. I, I love the car, don't get me wrong, this thing is incredible, but I'm kind of questioning why they did certain things like, you can see it has satin forged carbon fiber here. It has gloss two by two weave here, and then it has satin two by two weave in here. So satin two by two, satin two by two. A lot of carbon, but I really kind of wish they would have committed to one kind of carbon. Um, ideally, even, ideally, I really like the forged satin. That's just new school, kind of 2022, 23 style. But that satin two by two weave is incredible. Um, the seats are absolutely awesome. Sabelt, I think this is a French company, if I'm not mistaken. I, I hate that tag sitting right there in my face if i'm going to spend this much money on a car i know they're proud of their seat but they could have been more discreet with their branding especially on my maserati just super super nice car though 
again, this is like junior yelling at clouds kind of thing. I can, I can complain about anything. Big old carbon ceramic brakes. Just a really, really nice car. Uh, it, it, this is not your traditional YouTube channel where I'm going to like try to give you a car review. Um, I, I'm not that guy. I can do that, but I feel like that content has been played over and over again. I'm just a, an enthusiastic guy, just like you guys at home. I'm a car guy and I want to share what we have um, in my style, so to speak. So if I skip over cars in the background, it's not because I don't love them. It's just because I have so much time per video. And this one, we have some super incredible cars to share. So. If I skip over anything, you know, don't, uh, don't fault me for it. Now these two cars behind me, if you were to buy them, you would feel like a king, right? But you wouldn't feel like the king. And what the heck am I talking about? Elvis Presley's final purchase of a Cadillac. This is a 1977 Eldorado. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Now, again, this would usually be its own video, but I'm not stretching for content here. Um, I could easily do videos on each of these cars, but this thing just came in and I want to get it to you guys before it gets out anywhere else because this is a, uh, a well-known car. Super, super incredible. I think it has 6,000 miles. Let's take a peek. I want to show you the interior. just mint and it has 6,620 miles original interior is just phew, absolutely incredible and this thing is a tank an absolute tank good lord that's a lot of car but if you're interested in the story behind this I will put a link um, in the description below. Man, really cool. Elvis's last Cadillac. Again, let's just keep on rolling with these super incredible cars. <laughs> Ta-da! That's all I can say, right? I mean, what happens when I... What other YouTube channel, guys? Please, list one down below that is just consecutively banging off special cars like this. Um, and not making a big deal out of it. Let's just do it in one video, right? Who cares? Mach 1, Cobra Jet, factory AC car. I want to say this is a 68. Just incredible. This one hasn't even been through detail yet. Man. This one is an automatic, which is okay by me, especially considering it's a factory AC car. This just means that my wife would be comfortable driving it. Uh, that's a discussion that I'll let you guys have at home with your wife, whether or not that's a reality, but bang, incredible. I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> Done proper. So the reason I'm trying to show you guys all of these cars in one shot is because I have failed you. Um, that car that I'm about to show you over there, that 61, actually got sold before I had the chance to share it on my channel. So I got to pick up my game, guys. Another dream car of mine, Porsche 911 Turbo S. This again, those center lock wheels. This one has the PCCB Porsche carbon ceramic brakes. So, man. I love this car. I did ask my wife if I can buy it and she said no. So <laughs> hopefully one of your guys' wife says yes. Mainly, I have a 10 year old little boy. So man, Turbo S illuminates immediately. Again, the carbon is just absolutely incredible on this. This isn't even a two by two weave. It's got that special like Porsche weave, super tight. I love this car. And you can fit a passenger, so to speak, but not a lanky 10-year-old little boy. Um, the, the, I'm not going to lie, the rear seats are small on the 911s, but wow. 
I love this car. I mean, the carbon ceramic brakes are probably what, and the center lock wheels. I've, as I'm getting older, I'm finding that wheels and brakes are like paramount to my car. So I really appreciate that the guy did not skimp out. He spec'd this with the proper equipment that you would want on a car that's capable of doing over 200 mile an hour. So really nicely done. An executive car, it's super sleek, quiet and comfortable, but can keep up with your average Z06. So I like it. But let's move on to the car that I failed you. The 61. This is an automatic car. It was a frame off restoration. You can see it's got the, the wide whites with the radials. Now to my defense, this car did sell in I think 24 hours or something of that effect. So it's not like I had a whole lot of time to share it with you folks, but it did get on Clean Classic Cars or Classic Cars of Sarasota's website before I had the chance to throw it up here on Horsepower Warehouse. This one's kind of unique in that it ha does have power steering. So that's really nice option to have, especially on the C1s where they don't steer as easy as the C2s do, uh, you know, manual for manual. So I like it. Again, sorry guys, my apologies. <laughs> um, let's just keep on rolling with the cars though, because I have some shop progress that I want to share with you as well, but not before sharing this 55 Crown Vic, another really kind of unique find here. I, I like the two-tone. Um, it really accents this car well, especially with the interior, very 50s, but it's, it's the right kind of 50s, you know what I mean? This is kind of like California beach cruiser. Just a really clean, old school Crown Vic. This is where it all started. with the Continental kit on the back. I don't know if I've seen one with the Continental kit before, but maybe. Chevelle, another one that just came in here. I was told that this is a real SS car, but it now has a 383 stroker. So as you can see, they did quite a bit of hot rod work underneath here. They did maintain power brakes. It looks like we have power steering. We do have air conditioning, so they, uh, and in fact, <laughs> factory air conditioning that they've just updated to a modern compressor. So, man, really sweet. I like it. But we got to keep on rolling. Check out this hood. Now, Randy, last time I called him a clear coat magician. This time I might call him a clear coat artist. Whatever you want to call Randy at Meticulous. <laughs> This guy kills it just every time. This is my customer's, ooh. This is my customer's foam car. Um, it's just come out incredible, guys. Wow. That was a spider web from the, the rafters that fell on it, in case you're curious. Uh, it's just, man, good job, Randy. Good job, yet again. I hold my painters, I hold my, my, my final clear coat artist, whatever you want to call him. I don't call him a detailer because he gets kind of hurt over it. I'm beyond a detailer. Okay, well, I don't know. Whatever you want to call Randy, he does a fantastic job. I like it. So this is my customer's 66 car, the one that we have pulled all the foam out of. No longer, but my 65 is starting to come together. I need to pressure wash it and paint the engine bay. So we're not going to focus on that one too much. I will show you how we are coming along on the 64. You can see that we have the rocker fitted up in here. We have the piece that was missing is all replaced. I'm not going to pop the door because we have everything kind of square right now in my happy place. And I don't want to disrupt mine and Sean's work. But the car is nice and square now. We use these three-legged jacks in the rear to square it up on the rear body mounts. Of course, we have it supported um, where the body mounts pretty much would be either way. This is my way of making sure that when we do all of our fiberglass car, I can all of our fiberglass work on the car, I can ma maintain that the car is true and square. 
um, while I do all my work. Obviously, I can't do it with the frame on or even a rotisserie like we have over there because it would be in the way. So we have uh, we spent probably three days so far on the fiberglass work on this car. Um, I will show you as we can open up the door and kind of explore how far we went. Um, a lot of pretty significant work has been done with this. In addition to me using some better stuff than what was available back in the day, like 3M panel bond. Um, yeah, my fuel leak car, you can see that I have the engine here. It is getting ready to go together. I pulled the cover off the engine, by the way, so don't yell at me guys for keeping an exposed motor like that. I don't do that. I just wanted to show you that we've painted it. This one is pretty much completely done at this point. Um, we are doing final, final, final stuff, um, including the spare tire carrier, as you can see here. This is my 67 427 Tri-Power that's getting ready to head to Mecham Auction. A set of Corvette frames are going together here. This one is for our 64 that is over there. And the one that is closer to the rotisserie car is for that one. So everything is back from powder coat. We have just a beautiful powder coat lot back from um, our guy. I mean, he just does a fantastic job coating applied technologies. Thank you again. Um, I, I tell them every, every video I mention powder coat, I make sure to say their name because they just, I've dealt with a lot of other people in the past that don't do it the way coating applied does it. So again, thank you to those guys. This is a, uh, this is exciting. I, I like this part a lot where we are uh, just building brand new from the bottom up rollers. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of the build. So super excited with that. You can see that we have a box here from a guaranteed carburetor. Um, thank God finally just came back um, just before Thanksgiving. Uh, go figure at the very end of the day. So we're going to be putting that carburetor on. I've got the shim pack for the sand in. We're going to get the AC where it needs to be. If you guys remember last time, I told you we have the clutch off of the AC compressor because it was not properly shimmed from the factory. Again, I'm not calling out uh, classic auto air. It's just one of the things that you gotta deal with with the AC installation that, you know, it's not necessarily accounted for in the instructions. But yeah, we're also cleaning up the shop. As you guys can see, I have quite a bit more room in here. Um, I'm doing my best to increase efficiency, basically. I want to make it so that I can do the best possible job. Um, I've always been a stickler about quality. I'm super proud about only putting out the best that I can. So I, how can you improve upon that mentality? Well, you improve efficiency, you get better tooling, um, it, better equipment, so on and so forth. I'm not going to spoil all of our future plans because we have some pretty significant stuff that's going to be going on come the first of this upcoming year. Again, I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys will have to subscribe. Um, please do like and comment. But man, I have, some, I have some stuff in the background that I really am excited to share with you. I can't right now, but we're, just wait. Just wait until the first of the year. It's, it's gonna be incredible. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope I didn't bore you. Um, I love these type of quick vids where I can just share the cars that I'm excited with and then show you my work and the background as well. Um, if there's anything else you want to see, I always read all your comments. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time, take care.